Um, we're going to go ahead and spar the I beam spars in the bottom of the of the right wing. I usually start with the bottom. I've taken I've taken the actual wing itself and cut a couple spar slot sections to where when you when you are manipulating these fiberglass spars, they can go out past the wing tips here. Um, I'm sorry, the roots here, because when we impregnate this with uh, goop we want to be able to twist these spars within their spar slot so this gives me a little handle so i can give this a twist when we're done and this will go ahead and let the glue wrap around the spar so now that we have this set i will go ahead and put a little bit of weight here for now and what what i've done um prior to even putting this together i've taken the wing and i've taken a look at it and i've manipulated it a little bit and i've made sure it's fairly straight before i've even started this process and you could do this say prior to doing it Bend it a little bit, take a look down the trailing edge. Make sure it looks pretty straight before you do this process. But once it's pretty straight, you put it down like this. I tape it to the table. So now I put a little weight on it. The table I have here is perfectly flat. I've, I've uh, made this table shimmed up to be flat and true. So now the aircraft being flat and true, I have it taped to the trailing edge. These wings do not have any twist in it, so that's what's nice about building this airplane. You don't have to worry about having a jig and having to put some twist in the air. And I mean, in the actual airfoils, so they don't need it. They already they already are designed without it. So I will go ahead and install a couple pins here to keep these weight from uh, traveling. Sliding off, yeah. Sliding off, and it will also while this is drying overnight, it'll help the trailing edge uh, be pressed to where it's true and keeps it true. Mm -hmm. while the glue is drying so doing this you don't want to put any weight on the front of the airfoil once you press the trailing edge true it pretty much stays true the whole mm -hmm. airfoil will be true you mm -hmm. can look at it before you do it and like I said manipulate it to make it nice and straight but mm -hmm. check your spar make sure it doesn't have any major curves or anything in it um, take your goop do like you did on the regular bottom of the fuselage spars I will wipe a little excess off there. And same thing with this, a nice puddle. It's like you're caulking it in right over this spar. I'm gonna give it a little twist. Make sure it doesn't travel up. If it travels up a little bit, you can take the pieces of the spar that you had clipped off and use that to push it down in a few places mm -hmm. so if you think that you you know you, you might have traveled go go ahead and put it down in a few places and push it down I don't think it has and I had given it a spar so now it actually wrapped the spar slot I use a little bit of spit on my finger and it helps the slide there you go now your spar is now impregnated with goop and as mm -hmm. the goop shrinks, as it's as it's drying, uh -huh. it will suck down all around the spar and suck the spar right down into the slot. There's no need to pin that in. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the back one. twist and if you're like I said if you're feeling like you want to push it down a little bit you can but what I have found even when it is suspended in the glue as the glue dries and shrinks and the solvents gas off it does pull the spar right down into the slot mm -hmm. and uh, that's what you you do that with both of these um, wings on the trailing edge like this and we do it mirrored exactly the same way on the top of the wing so um, you really don't change the process at all. But the only thing I've done on the top of the wing and the bottom of the wing to do this process is I've cleared on the bottom a little bit here so when we press the wing, it doesn't have that filleted edge around there. So yeah. when you're pressing the trailing edge on the bench, say when we flip over the top, we do the same thing. The most important part of the whole aircraft in the build is this trailing edge. If you can press the trailing edge straight, it's the thinnest edge it straightens the airfoil out. So 
pressing that in, locking this down the same way on the top as we just did the bottom will make this airfoil straight. If you find that you do this one side and you pull it tomorrow and you look at it and it's a little bit crooked, say say these this wing here is a little crooked tomorrow and I see it's just a little bit before you glue the top ones in tomorrow, manipulate it a little bit, look down the leading, look down the trailing edge, make sure it looks straight and then lock it in. Once you lock it in, uh, the final ones on the top tomorrow, mm -hmm. you'll find that uh, this thing will stay super straight and super true. You don't want to use anything pretty much, you know, rather than goop on this stuff because this 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 being non-porous and the spar being non-porous, I find that the goop sticks to this stuff better than any of the other glues I've used. You don't want to use super glue or anything along those lines. So 